Hello stampers, this is Joanne Perry. Um, I'm an independent uh, demonstrator with Stampin' Up! in Canada. And I, ha I am in a group right now this week with the, um, it's a vendors group uh, for different companies. Uh, and we all do a presentation every day. So anyways, I came and did a Facebook Live and I made a card to show beginner stamp, like stamp, stampers that are just beginning, like, because a lot of them uh, haven't heard about stamping up before. So I wanted to do a simple card, but uh, a little more advanced than our uh, kit collections. So I found uh, a card at the online because I wanted to do one that didn't use any of the celebration designer paper. Because every time you look on Pinterest, you'll see a lot of cards that are using that paper, but it's no longer available. So anyways, I did a search on Pinterest and I found a beautiful card made by, um, I think it's a, it's a group of gentlemen, uh, they blog together. Uh, it's called the Gentleman Crafters. It's the first time I see it tonight. So um, anyways, when I did the search, that's where it popped up. And I think it's Kevin Etsy, Esty, who did this card. Um, it's a blog hop that they've done. So anyways, if anybody wants to see the link, just let me know. I can uh, uh, add it in the comments or uh, reply to you. Um, yeah, let me see. There's Barry Selwood and Jay Sorlano, Bruno Bertucci, who's Kylie's husband, Daniel Nickerson or Nixon, Jason Lokes, Martin Stone, and Tony Embry. Anyway, this card fell on Kevin Etz Esty. And if I remember well, he's from Nova Scotia. Um, so I'm not sure if he designed the card himself, but it's one of those cards on that blog. So anyways, I've decided to do that card because there's no uh, D DSP included and I just changed uh, the, the greeting I didn't put it on a tag and so because it's a Facebook live you know you talk with some people uh, as you go well I decided to shorten it up and go straight to the stamping so that's why I'm doing a little demonstration before and it's a little intro we're going to be using the sweet strawberry and don't mind the comments like there won't be a lot there was only it, i did this late so there's only a few girls that were talking with me <laughs> um and um yeah we're using the sweet strawberry bundle but i'll tell you a little bit about this it was in the um mini catalog let me see if i can find the page quickly I'm trying to make this video as short as I could. Let's see. Oh, right here, page four, um, it says 44. Page 44 in the mini catalog. But this mini catalog is going to um, expire at the end of the month. It is done. Where is it? Right there. Yeah, June 30th, 2021. So if you're watching this video after June 30th, don't look in this catalog, <laughs> but this is the bundle. This one, it's also available in French. That's why I took out the French catalog. Uh, you can get the stamp set for $24, uh, the punch for $24, or you can buy both of them as a bundle and save 10%. So you're only paying $43 for the bundle. And it's a really cool set. Um, and if you have the annual catalog that just started uh, May 2021, it is on page 43. I'll just show you quickly a card I made. You see this one in the catalog? I made it with a different pack of paper. It's our new DSP, the um, Evening Evergreen. That one is here. And I used a real red with the evergreen stamping on there for the stems and some red rhinestones but i see that i lost one there was three on there <laughs> and this is that um oh what you call that mesh uh, let's see metallic mesh ribbon it comes like this 
very wide that you can just squish it up and then put it behind your projects like that. It's really nice. All right. So I made this card, yeah. So a lot of times you see samples in there, but you don't think about doing those ones instead. So I like that. I wanted to change because uh, um, this paper, I didn't have it here. So I wanted to find something that would go good with strawberries. Um, and this one here, I did a video before. It's using the Love Story DSP, and that one is still available in the mini catalog, but it's only while supplies last. And I actually, I think it's on sale, isn't it? Let me just check. Oh, I gotta take my English catalog because I didn't change the, the um, prices on that. Um, I got the French one too. I have two French catalogs out. Wow. <laughs> um, but it's regular $15.75 and I'm pretty sure I've seen it for $12. I'm not sure. I can double check if anybody's interested, but it's, yeah, you see the, um, the pretty, I forgot to show you. At the start. See all the different patterns in there? They're all black and white. Very nice. Page 11 of the mini catalog. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. I don't usually have two French catalogs, but anyway. And I did this video anyways um, a few days ago. So if you look back in my uh, YouTube channel, you'll find this one. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do a card using this bundle. So let's get started. This one here is called Granny Apple Green. So as you can see, we have the paper and we have the ink pad. You don't have to guess to see which color, which green should I use for that paper and everything is all the same names. So I'm gonna take a full sheet. This is um, eight and a half by 11 and I'm gonna cut it in half this way. So that means half of eight and, a, eight and a half is four and a quarter. I'm gonna put it on my trimmer here. I can't fit the whole trimmer in the screen, but on the bottom, you would see it here. Four, four and a quarter, right there. And our stamping trimmer has the cutting blade, which is the dark here. And then we have one that scores. It just makes a crease in your paper. And I'll show you how. So we need to make a card. We, we want to fold it. So like, for example, this card here, you're going to fold it this way. You can make your cards sideways like that, that you would sit like this, or um, you can open them sideways. So there's different ways to make your cards. So you don't get bored with always the same way. <laughs> Now this one, I wanna open it the standing up way, so I need to score it at five and a half. So scoring means I'm folding it, making a line to make it easy. So you see how it just made a line in there and then you just flip it and there you go. If not, you would have to take your paper, fold it in half and try to make it match in the corners and then press here and fold it. This this trimmer makes uh, makes your job a lot easier. <laughs> there. What I did there was just our scoring tool. Um, it's just to help fold your, your crease here. And there. So I don't think I need my paper trimmer anymore. I've already went ahead and pre-cut these pieces. So, and these are sizes I use a lot on my cards. It's the white one is three and three quarters by five. They're all in inches. And then I just add an eighth of an inch more for the, the how do you call it? Like the mat in the back. <clears throat> but before you glue, stamp. Like uh, Sarah, our CEO says, always stamp and then cut. <laughs> stamp and cut or stamp and glue. 
now. So I'm going to start with the white peas and I'm going to use my Granny Apple Green ink pad. <clears throat> we are Wednesday. Okay, thank you, Tammy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what happens when you uh, <clears throat> you work at home. <clears throat> you forget the days of the week. <laughs> so this is part of that stamp set. It's this one here, this image. I've already got it on the block. And I'm just going to go and stamp up on the top here you see and re-ink it again and then flip it uh, downwards and you won't see the center of this because we're going to cover these in <clears throat> in um, strawberries and speaking of which those will be coming out soon they usually come out in June <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> our ink pads, these are our new format. Uh, you will notice that uh, I have two different kinds. These were the old the old style. Um, so I just replaced some of them when they came out with this one. So you, you grab it here, there's a little dent, pull it up, and then you push it towards you until it clicks. And that's it. And they're made like this because you're supposed to store your uh, ink pads upside down so as you can see when I'm doing this it's going upside down and then I just put it on my on my uh, ink pad holder like that <clears throat> so on um, this one I'm gonna put that aside for now we're gonna do our strawberries <clears throat> and this is just one of our foam mat foam pads uh, if you have a mouse pad, um, you can use that too. Uh, and it's good to use a pad when it's those clear stamps. We call these photopolymer stamps because we have some that are have rubber in the backing. Um, I'm going to show you one. <clears throat> so on your stamp set, it says here, photopolymer stamp set. And this one, it says cling stamp set. These ones are made of rubber, the red rubber. So when you pull that out, hold on here. You can see the red rubber and then there's a foam already there. And then this is the sticker from the labels that you would put in the back of them when you receive it. But uh, with the photopolymer, it's just, it comes like that and you just stick it to your, um, your clear block. And then when you get your stamp set, you, like, you take them all out and then you stick your images to it. And then you put them in your case. But I like keeping the outline of it, that piece, because that way, um, if I use one of them, let's say this one here, if I have it out, Let's say I used it last night, then I go to put my stamp set away. I can see in the back it's missing easier than if they're just all loose everywhere. And I saved myself uh, a few stamps that way because <laughs> they were not in it. And, uh, yeah, they just, if you'd see my craft table, you'd see what I mean. Things get lost easily in here. So, all right. So I explained to you the uh, photopolymer stamps and the uh, cling stamps. So now we can start stamping. Let's take our strawberries. So they come like this. And this stamp set has two step stamping on it. Which means one is going to stamp the outline of it. And those little um, seedlings in there. And this one is going to do the shading inside of it. And I'll show you how. <clears throat> and you got to get the blocks. We're, oh, right here. So you just stick it to the back of the, the your clear block. And you don't have to have a bunch of blocks, but I because I do classes in my house, um, and there's different tables for different projects, I have to stock up on these blocks we use them a lot <laughs> so uh, but if you're uh, just doing it by yourself you only need a few blocks you'd be good to start with that 
but this is the size that we use a lot um, it's the size D that's the main size um, strawberry there we go forgetting what I was doing here <laughs> So I'm going to use my real red. And before, when you have a stamp set that matches with a punch, before you stamp it, you want to take a look. You, you put it um, face down so that you can see the pieces where you're going to punch out. And you're seeing that this stamp is this way. So that means I'm going to stamp it that way. If I stamp it this way, and I try to put the paper in, it's not going to match with the punch. So always take a, take a look at it before you stamp it. And um, you'll see this, uh, what did I say, it's called the stems. You're seeing how it's going that way. When I stamp that one, I'm going to make sure I do that as well. I'm not using these two tonight. So just so you know. And then you see when I'm punching that out, it's going to punch part of this off too so when I stamp two strawberries I want to make sure I leave a little bit room in between so let's see that's just if you don't like wasting paper <laughs> which I don't so I'm gonna stamp this there I'm gonna stamp a second one we need three uh, three, yeah, three. <laughs> we need three strawberries on this one but I already have one made I've put it over here so we're going to stamp two of those and then because it's red on red I'm going to stamp off this one so this is the inside of it I'm going to ink it up but before I stamp it on my strawberries I'm going to use a piece of scrap paper and just stamp it once and then it leaves just a little bit of ink on it I'm just going to put my head in here try to align it I can't see too well you see because if not it would have came out dark like that and do it again I just love this damn set I've been waiting for my punch has been it was uh, on back order because they ran out as soon as the stamp set came out they sold so many the stamp sets don't usually go back order because Stampin Up makes them right there they have their own production uh, uh, warehouse um, but the uh, the um, tools they come from different manufacturers um, and a lot of them are in China so because of COVID the the shipping is a little slow so we were out for a long time actually this came out in our mini catalog so I never did anything with it because I didn't have my punch and I don't like fussy cutting <laughs> Fussy cutting if you if you're not a, a scrapper a scrapper scrapbooker, <laughs> um, it it's um, using scissors to cut around it because you could do that too. <clears throat> but why do that when you have a punch that can just do what I just did? So I'm aligning the image inside the the punched area, as you can see. And you kind of squeeze it just to, you're squeezing the punch to hold the paper there but you're not going all the way through and you make co yourself comfortable where you're gonna push and there make sure you don't get your hands on the side here because you will get a little pinch that will hurt <laughs> ask me i know done it many times so we have two strawberries and the um, stem is the same thing. There's an outline and insert. I'm going to use my smaller strip here. <clears throat> Close this. And we're going to use the uh, Granny Apple Green ink. Yeah, we got spoiled eh, with our punches. <laughs> I'm try I, I keep forgetting to look up to see if there's any comments. Sorry. And so we're going with the outline. As you can see, this one's the outline and that one is for the inside of it. So, and if you don't have, you know, you wanna do a different color. If you have markers, you can use that too to color in. So I'm gonna stamp it this way. 
And that one need a little bit of room that way. And we only need two. <clears throat> Step off. Put it this way. Bring it in closer. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, you try your best to make sure it's inside. And then <clears throat> take your punch again, slide it in, and then align that. Like I said, I squeeze it a little bit. And then punch it. And then do the other one. And then you get all these little pieces. <clears throat> Garbage. Okay. And to assemble this, I'm just gonna use my liquid glue, there it is. And this too is stamping up um, mono uh, Tombow glue. So I'm putting it on top here. Some of it will go over, so I'm just gonna put glue on the bottom part. And when you come to my classes, I show you all this. You don't have to uh, be a professional stamper. Uh, you, if you're just, you know, it's the first time you're seeing this and you're worried that, oh my gosh, I won't know what to do if I go to Joanne's classes. Well, when you're here, beginners, you don't have to worry. I'm there. And also there's always a experienced stamper sitting beside you who's always happy to help you. So um, hopefully in the fall, we'll be able to get back into uh, having our classes in person again. Some people have, some people do still uh, do them, but <clears throat> I was just not comfortable doing it yet. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to bring this back in and I want to do a little bit of shading in the middle, like um, with my ink. So I'm going to use the Balmy Blue ink pad. It's just a, like a baby blue. Need that scrap paper again. And this too is a new tool that we have. It comes in a set of three. They were on back order for a while too. And you're just going around in circle. You don't want to go on your paper directly because the first shot you do is going to be dark. So you just go off a little bit and you just bring it in as you go. You'll see how much more you want. I'm just going to press a little harder and you stamp off on this piece of scrap paper first. And I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but there is blue in there. A little bit. The strawberries are going to be like in the center, so I'm going to make it blue on the outside of it a little bit more. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit more. I don't want to go too much. It's better to go little at a time and add than going too much and then you say, oh no. <laughs> Grab another piece of paper. There. You show it up close in case you can't see it well on there. Um, let's see when I put my strawberries. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more. Let's go bigger circle here. I really like it because it's not making like a splotches. Is that what you would say? How you call that? <laughs> Big spot in the middle. If you go lightly, like I said, if you go directly on a paper right away, then it's going to do something drastic. And then these, you can just run them underwater. If you know you're not going to use them again for the day, <coughs> you can wash them underwater. <coughs> but if you're going to use it, Again, just wipe it on your scrap paper until it's uh, 
all clear and it seems to be very clear now. And I'm gonna try to keep one for my blues and greens and one for my reds and one for my like yellows. Like I'll have a few. I'm just still waiting for my order. I got some coming. Um, so, okay, this, we will go ahead and put that on top of that. I'm gonna stamp here. I think I'll stamp it now. The other card, I said I was gonna make a thank you card, but my sample is a thank you card. So I'm gonna make this one a birthday card. So, or I could say just for you, or hello there, or happy birthday, you sweet thing. Let's see how big this is. That makes a difference. You gotta see how much room you have. And this card I've seen, a kind of like, a, hold on, I'm gonna see where I got the idea. The gentlemen crafters. They were the one that posted some cards. It, it's pretty similar. I changed up a few things on there. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I just did a search quickly. So, so like I said before, you have a stamp set you know you want to play with, just go on Pinterest, go Sweet Strawberry Stamp. Add stamp, because if not, you'll get some recipes or <laughs> desserts or whatever. But um, if you put stamp after the name of your stamp set, it will, uh, you know, make it... Um, narrow it down so that's what I did I did sweet strawberry bundle or street yeah I did put sweet strawberry stamp and then I seen a lot of cards but a lot of them are with the retired paper that we um, had in the catalog before <clears throat> and I didn't want to use that so I had to find a card that didn't use uh, the pattern paper so that and I thought that was pretty nice. Whoops, forgetting what I was doing here. I said I was gonna use a greeting. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Distracted. Yeah, I'm gonna do a happy birthday one. And I'll need my block. I'll move that one. And I'm gonna use black ink for the the greeting on this. <clears throat> and our black ink is different from our other inks. These ones are a memento. <clears throat> we don't have like our water-based uh, ink pads. I'm starting to lose my voice. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. I don't usually talk this late at night. I'm usually in my craft room all by myself, I guess. <laughs> there. Yeah, I spend my days in here. You get addicted. You'll see. If you start this, you're going to be like hooked on. It. Take my glue. And you don't need to cover up the whole um, back of your card. <clears throat> Unlike some beginners, that's what they do. They put all over and then when you're putting it on it goes over <clears throat> let's see where I've done some classes uh, in a school before <laughs> yeah it was quite the mess and then you get everything mixed up together all the colors I even actually did one in the high school too and they were just as messy so funny I thought it was gonna be easier with the older kids <laughs> Nope. All right. I've tried a few birthday parties when I first started out, and um, I don't know. I kind of forgot like, to, you know, promote that. But kids love it. They adore doing this, and you don't even have to come up with an idea. You can just throw up, throw up some um, uh, paper and ink and. They'll just do their own designs. So you know, uh, you don't have to teach them. But you gotta teach them how to use your stuff. You don't want them to wreck it, neither. <laughs> there. Put one strawberry here. I'm gonna put one over here. Let's see. Yeah. My fingers are sticky. 
This one, I didn't pop it up before, but I will on this card. Hold on. Um, <clears throat> forgot to look at my screen again. I'm usually in bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and Jennifer is on here, too. Wow, I'm not the only one that's staying up late. I would normally just put one in the middle, but I was talking and I didn't pay attention, so I may as well do three. It'll balance the strawberry. And put this one on the top. Jennifer, you're a Pamper Chef consultant. Wouldn't you love to be able to make cards like these for um, your customers? It's got food. <laughs> I never was able to get you into it. I don't know. We're going to have to talk. <laughs> I used to sell Pamper Chef years ago. And actually, I was selling Pamper Chef when I met Evelyn, who was my upline, who got me into uh, Stampin' Up. We interchanged a party. And then um, I was our customer for uh, about two years, I'd say. And then I decided to join and I was selling both for a while, but then after a while, I was like, okay, no, I gotta let go of one of them. And <clears throat> I was really liking Stampin' Up! So <clears throat> I let Pepper Chef go, but you should see the stuff I have in the kitchen. Got everything. So I'm excited when I see uh, new stuff. <laughs> I even got that, um, that big cooker there from, how do you call it, Deluxe Air Fryer. I had a party with Jennifer and uh, I earned enough stuff that I uh, got it for like 75% off. I was pretty impressed. So thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> and there we go, guys. This is it. This is the card. If I wouldn't have been talking, I would have been done with this card like in, I would say, 5-10 minutes. But I needed to entertain you and explain everything, so... But just so you see how quick it is to make your own cards, you could, um, like, oh yeah, let me see. I got this one that says thank you, and do, I put this one up, happy birthday, you sweet thing. There, so I hope you like this, and like I said, we do have a whole bunch of different stamps that you can use. Um, I did post some pictures earlier the, of different cards that we made excuse me, at um, some of my in-person classes and some are um, just virtually because I couldn't do classes. So I was doing a lot of cards with the new stuff that I was buying. Um, but yeah, and if you need a card for any occasions, oh my gosh, don't go buy it at the, uh, what do you call it, Hallmark. Uh, don't buy it in the stores. You want to give something handmade to your friends or your family. Just give me a call. Uh, keep my phone number in there, um, in your phone. And if you're on my page, you can message me anytime. So I will link the catalog links on this description to this video. And I'll and I know we're um, I'm done tonight. I won't be able to come and talk again tomorrow because we only have one day per um, vendor, two vendors a day. Um, so I'll be done with. Um, my post tonight I will go and look to see if I missed anything because I I'm you know me I'll be up late so uh until midnight I can go and post more um but to continue seeing more of my stuff just follow me on my um Stampin' Joe group or you can even see our website at stampinjoe.stampinup.net if you place an order with me at any time if you place an order online which means I don't have to do anything for it. You go on there, you place your order, you pay with your credit card, and um, Stampin' Up! ships it directly to you, and you pay a little more in shipping. So it's nine ninety five for shipping, for direct shipping. It's minimum nine ninety five, I should say. After $100, it goes 10% of the products that you, cho you, uh, you buy. But anyway, because you're doing all that, um, I send a gift to everybody who places an online order. I do also, you know, spoil my customers who place orders uh, by email or in my stamp club. Um, 
So no worries about that. But if you're doing it online, you need a special host code to qualify for those free gifts. So this is the one I'm using right now for June. It's SJ269F3V. All right. And thank you so much for watching. Um, what did Debbie say? Oh, cute card. May have to order that set. Yeah, add it to your wish list again. <laughs> All right. So if you have any questions, don't be shy to message me. And uh, I'll be in touch. Good night.